Hello everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to answer a super common question. How to install the powerful Spectasonics Omnisphere 2 and get it running inside FL Studio or any other digital audio workstation that you are using. Let's begin. First thing you need to do is see these are ISO files so you have to mount them first. So I'm gonna select DIX1 to DIX8 and I'm gonna mount them all at once. So I don't have to keep mounting each, each drive. The mounting process is going to take some time because the size of the file is pretty huge. As you can see right here, it's about 55.3 gigabyte. Let's wait for a while. Maybe I should check my... Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A few minutes later. So now the files, the drives have been mount. I will close this all. Mm -hmm. Now let's begin our installing process. Find your file. Step one, go to the installer. And if you are using Mac, you go to the folder Mac and install the DMZ or PKZ file. And if you are using Windows like mine, then go to the Windows folder and install the Omnisphere installer. So next and license facts accept the agreement. My PC is running a 64-bit version, so I'm going to select a 64-bit plugin. And if you are using a 32-bit PC, then you can select the 32-bit plugin or you can select both. Click Next. Remember the path. C drive program files, Steinberg, VST plugins, okay? It helps while patching the file. Program data Spectasonics. C drive. So it helps when you remember the path. Okay, so let's finish this. And step two, you need to data update or you need to update your data. So let's go into update only. Mm. So let me check the version real quick. I'm going to 2.3. Okay. Yeah, the version is right. Run as administrator. Okay. Next. Accept the agreement uh, again. I'm going to use the 64 bit. So, yeah, next, next, and I'm finished. So, our step two is also finished. So, the step three is for trillion users. Since I'm not using a trillion right now, I'm not going to install trillion. And step four is for MOOC tribute users. So, I'm not and I'm not using Moog either, so I'm gonna skip that. So now let's begin the patching process. Hmm. So before you start patching your software, make sure you disable your antivirus. Because it's gonna recognize your file as malware so you cannot patch your file so that's why you need to disable your antivirus first let's begin now go to your file and find the patch uh, this could be in zip format so you better extract first then find the .exe file 
and then you go to the C drive program files, Spanborg, DST plugins, Omnisphere.dll, and successfully passed. That's it. And you need to patch one more folder, which is program data. But usually, this folder is hidden in Windows PC. So, what you need to do is go to the C drive, click on view, show, and hidden items. Then the program data folder appears. Now, we have to patch the folder program data. So the process is same. Run your patch file, go to the C drive program data and find the folder Spectrosonics and plugins and 64 bit. Then you hit the omnisphere.dll. File is successfully patched. Now let's open our DAW. Let's open Apple Studio. And after opening your DAW, which usually in my case is FL Studio, we have to scan our plugin before using it. This will load all the installed plugin in your DAW. So let's go and find the Omnisphere right there. I'm gonna star mark it and close it. And if you cannot find your uh, installed plugin for the first time after the installation, you don't have to worry because I'm going to show you how you can find the VST plugin after your installation. So you need to go to the plug like uh, icon which is called plugin database. Uh, click on installed and click on generators. So click on new and find the Omnisphere and right click and open a new channel that way you can find your Omnisphere now we have to copy this challenge code and and I'm gonna paste it right here and I'm gonna copy the generated code Click on exit, paste it and continue. And after pasting it, we are gonna have to close the door completely. And after closing it, after refreshing for a few seconds, I'm going to reopen the Apple Studio and it should be passed by now. Now the install plugin is easy to find right here. It's under the synth. There we go guys. We have it Omnisphere. The working Omnisphere. You see. It has different sound. Synth. Let's take few sounds. So thank you guys, this is how we do.